Okay, now you know the basics of mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing. It's a quick, effective way of providing oxygen to a victim. However, as mentioned previously, you and Sally are healthcare professionals. As such, you're required to use standard precautions whenever there is exposure to blood or other bodily fluids, like saliva. These precautions include using barrier devices, such as a face mask. A face mask usually has a one-way valve and diverts exhaled air away from the rescuer. There are different sizes for adults, children, and infants, so make sure you're using the appropriate size for a victim. The mask should only cover the victim's mouth and nose. It should not extend over the victim's eyes. Okay, here's your chance to try mouth-to-mask breathing. You should already be in position to practice. Once again, practice along with the video and make sure you see the chest actually rise with each breath you give. We'll practice five sets of two breaths together. You ready? Here we go. Kneeling next to the victim, place the mask on the victim's face using the bridge of the nose as a guide for correct position. Seal the mask by placing the index finger and thumb of your hand closest to the top of the victim's head along the border of the mask. Place the thumb of your other hand along the lower margin of the mask. Open the airway using a head tilt chin lift. Press the mask down and lift the jaw to hold the mask tightly against the face and give two breaths while watching for chest rise. Each breath should be delivered over one second.